question is a garden in your home or an artistic backyard artistic backyard when i can plant uh, seeds and grow vegetables in my garden my backyard garden i should go and do an artistic backyard why in fact welcome back to my youtube channel so i asked a few of you i mean not a few of you but i i i told you guys i wanted to do a q and a so you guys should send me questions that you like to ask and you came for me so let's just get straight into the video so i have um one two three four i have four sets of questions here and i i divided i got about i got more than 20 questions actually i wasn't really expecting you guys to like ask me a lot of questions but i got like more than 20 and i decided to choose um just about 15 or so yeah yeah, about 15 of them so i'm going to be answering 15 questions and this is how we're going to do it so i have general questions i broke them down into parts so into four parts and the first session is general questions and then i have the would you rather or do you prefer to do these questions and i have love and relationship questions and then the last section will be advice questions so let's go so general questions okay guys so the first question i have here is what school did you attend and where are you now um presently i'm at kenya university in my final year but i attended holy child school at cape coast what are your hobbies and what would you recommend for others well i like reading and meditation I like organizing, I like DIY activities, I like minding my business as well, and drinking a lot of water. Hmm. Lots of water. What is your take on YouTube lovers? YouTube lovers. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong. I mean, I'm a YouTuber. And I love YouTube. I'm a YouTube lover. I don't think there's anything wrong. I know people have the perception that like people fake things on YouTube and they are not showing like the real actual like their their real life, you know. But I feel like you can't come in. It'll be very difficult for you to fake and like act out in front of a camera on youtube because you have to be yourself when you're filming so yeah and you get to learn a lot of things every day so i don't think there's anything wrong with that who is your mentor what are your roles among your family friends in church and history and present time too and why them well mentors and um, role models are two different things mentors are more like people who are close to you and then role models are like people in society you don't really know them but then you just admire them and they inspire you so i'll say my mentor will be my mom and then a few close friends i look up to and for my role models there are lots i mean um Sarah Jakes Rabbit, um, Jackie Aina, Dima, Yara Shahidi, Bella Mundi. I have a lot of those. Um, in history and in present time, in history I'll say Oprah Winfrey, and then in present times I'll say Michelle Obama. And um, simply because, I mean, they are advocates and they have a positive and meaningful impact to society and if there's anyone out 
compare myself to it will be them so yeah the final question in the general section is is yellow your favorite color it's gold and mustard when it comes to yellow you know like not yellow yellow not the actual yellow but gold and mustard but my favorite colors are black gold and peach i love peach yeah so those are my favorite colors so now we are on the would you rather questions and the first question i have here is would you prefer a nice calming day at the spa or a walk in the park i mean what do you think a spa of course i mean it's so relaxing and i feel like it's also um, a time that you can meditate on your life and reflect on your life and it's just peaceful so i'll just i'll i'll prefer the spa to walking i mean i can do that anytime i i, I walk every time so walking in the park <laughs> like the next question is do you prefer watching in a leaf or rubber <laughs> <laughs> Watch it in a leaf or rubber. I mean, obviously a leaf now. Rubbers are not necessarily healthy, so I prefer watching a leaf. And I feel like you. Okay, wait. Now I just prefer. I just prefer watching a leaf. The next question is Ibiza or Saturini for holidays. Why? How can I pick? I mean, of course, Saturini, like, Saturini any day, any time. But Ibiza is also a very beautiful place. Mm. This, this, this is, please, that's true. I'll go to Saturini and after that, I'll, I'll go to Ibiza. <laughs> the fourth question is a garden in your home or an artistic park? Yeah artistic backyard when i can plant uh, seeds and grow vegetables in my garden my backyard garden as we do an artistic backyard why in fact hot sunny day or cold rainy day personally i prefer cold weather like Rainy days, I they are my favorite. I, I prefer rainy days because hot sunny day, no one will go out. Okay, when it's raining too, I mean, but like I can Netflix and chill. I can relax and I can sleep. So now on the love and relationship questions. The first question I have here is: Are you dating? What attracts you to a guy, and what are your expectations from him? Um, yes, I am. Um, what attracts me to a guy? Well, when it comes to dating, you should definitely have um, things that are non-negotiable for you. Um, and one of the things that are non-negotiable for me will be like, if you're not a Christian, if you don't have a personal relationship with God, that's non-negotiable for me. Um, and respect, just that. Yeah, respect comes, then the rest follow. You know what I'm talking about. And how did you meet your partner and how was it on the first day? Honestly, it was just like a normal day. I actually went to see a friend and his cousin happened to be my boyfriend. So that's how we met and his cousin like he apparently apparently it's apparently a right way. Well, as of that time, yeah, as of that time, he was going to visit that friend, and I had also wanted to visit that friend, so we met. That was how we met, but it was just a normal day, like, oh, hello, nice meeting. You. That was it. So, now to the final section the advice questions. The first question I have is, How do you really see yourself, and do you battle with self esteem? Um, how do I see myself? I think I'm beautiful, intelligent, and very tolerant. And yeah, 
um, in regards to self-esteem, as of now, no, I'm very confident in myself. At first, I used to I used to battle with self-esteem because I had a lot of like insecurities, but I'm totally fine. And I feel like if you have insecurities, like you should learn to love yourself and be vulnerable. If you are vulnerable, you'll be able to. Um, I mean, no one is perfect, and. I definitely think when you start to accept the way you are, you like it shows, guys. The noise. I'm very sorry, honestly. I didn't think this will happen. What inspired you to start um, a channel, and also what keeps you going? Um. The very reason why I started the channel was, you know, as I said, I had um, battles with self-esteem because my skin wasn't perfect. As you can see, my skin is not perfect. I have a lot of pimples on my chest and my hands, but I'm still wearing this, you know, like, but I just wanted to have some kind of voice here and then like encourage other people who have similar um, problems with their skin and um, makeup makeup also was a reason i wanted to like you know just express myself with the way i do my makeup everyone has their way of doing makeup some are glamorous some are simple it was basically made makeup and then just to have some kind of voice over here because honestly if apart from YouTube, I think it'll be very difficult. I think YouTube is the like easiest um, place and way to have a voice or saying something. Cause like apart from that, in, in in reality, you actually need connections. It's either you are on the pulpit or you are on stage talking to people. Like I just said to use this channel to start something, and I hope with time. I mean. We are all growing, so I'm hoping to grow with you guys together. What keeps me going? I'll say my family and God. Yeah, I'm a Christian, so that keeps me going a lot. My faith keeps me going, and my family keeps me going, and my close friends also keep me going. So the last question is, how do you combine studies and business? And I feel like that's a very good question. Um, with studies and business you know um i bake and i sometimes do makeup for people too so what i do is i just um like in terms of even the baking i do pre-orders so you have to pre-order let me know when exactly you need it and then i find time a free any free time i have to do it like i just schedule you know yeah same with makeup if you want me to do your makeup for you, let me know like two days before so that I, I, I will see if it's possible to do it, you know. That's how I combine, I, because I know I have a lot of things to do and school and class and projects since I'm a final year student, all those things count. So I just do pre-orders, yeah, to balance everything out. So I have time to um, work things out so guys that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did like this video comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you